Vaping, originally when it was created, was thought of potentially being a risk reduction strategy for people that smoked cigarettes. But when we're actually looking at the damage that it causes to your lungs, it weakens your immune system, putting people more at risk for having bacterial infections such as pneumonias, as well as causing your cells to break down and release things that are called free radicals, which have been known to lead to cancer formation. Products that are labeled as having zero nicotine can actually be found to have some degree of nicotine in them. There are no FDA regulations about specifically outlining the contents of what's in e-juice or liquid nicotine at this time. A lot of people are attracted to vaping because of the flavors and the smell and the taste. These products are created to in theory be a safer alternative, but once again, they're still gonna have harmful effects from heating up that solution. The nicotine that's in tobacco or cigarettes is the same that's in the things that people are vaping. Overall, the difference is not much, right? People think that because they smoke and they're burning something, that breathing in that smoke can hurt their lungs. But when we're looking at people that heat up that solution and breathe that into their lungs, we're finding out that it can cause very similar damage. I can't tell you at this moment what the long-term outcomes of vaping is, just because it hasn't been around long enough for us to see. But we're seeing more and more lung injury happening when people use these products.